Okay, well, welcome to today's newscast. Mahul, it's a great pleasure to visit you and the team, meeting you, team Indus today. Uh, we've started off by thinking about philosophy, actually. Um, our philosophy in Euroluna is really, we wanted to, to make it as small as possible, really. Uh, light mass as possible, and then we're going to take whatever complications comes out of that with some pragmatic choices, but also with some, you can say, high risk, high gain uh, choices on the way. Now, if I can paraphrase what you said about Team Indus, you are pragmatic and you want things that have proven to be working, and you're going to take the mass as a consequence of that in a certain sense. Is that, that, is that correct? correct? That's uh, that's there. Now we have all of Team Indus, or lots of Team Indus here, uh, and we are standing outside your headquarters, and we even have an extremely nice poster behind us. And Rahul, I, would you would you illustrate a little bit, uh, say a little bit about it? This is launch uh, trajectory, getting there. Um, Great. Sure. Get it from the angle and That's okay, we will get it from the I mean, let me say that we are impressed with the size of your team. <laughs> we are impressed with okay. the... So that worked. That worked, right? Um, it's nice to see your logo in the corner here. Um, the team Indus. It's nice to see that you have uh, your motto down there. This is, of course, where we do not agree uh, because we really want to have uh, our team, Denmark, uh, uh, Switzerland, Italy, uh, sort of uh, to be the third country to land on the moon. But we wish you luck anyway. Uh, so <laughs> this is fine. And I would say that uh, the plan you have here is impressive, um, and we. We are convinced that this will work. So this is the critical design review from a competitor. We are actually convinced that this will work. Um, so there's still some practical issues to, to make, I'm sure. But uh, we are convinced that it will work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. So my quick two minutes. Yes. Thank you so much. I appreciate you, Roluna, for coming out here and coming meeting us and taking a break. It was a pleasure to meet you. I was telling Pale that he was, his videos were some of the inspiration videos that we saw before <laughs> we registered for uh, Google Lunar X Prize. And uh, I thought there was a meeting of minds. I thought there was a lot of philosophy that we shared. We don't quite agree on the priorities of those philosophies, <laughs> but I think we, we, we kind of know that we're going to keep this as, as a very fruitful mission, as something that we should go out there, do the job, and be done. So, so that's, that's kind of where we are. Fantastic. Thank you so much, once again, Pali. Thank you. Thanks for hosting yeah, us. Sure. Yeah. And uh, so you wanted me to walk through the... Yeah. If you would walk through this, that Strategy. would be perfect. Who's going to do this? You can do off the top of it. I'm too old for this. That's not <laughs> that. <laughs> Guru, go ahead. So Guru is gonna, is, has been as part of our design team. He's been uh, working on some of the key subsystems of the lander and he's going to quickly talk you through the various phases and modes that we have planned for our mission. Right, so here we have the... Here louder, here we, will be louder. Here we have the, uh, the lander, the team Indus lander and the rover integrated with the PSLV. Uh, here you can see the HHK, that's our lander. Here you can see the ECA, that's our rover. After integration you can see different phases of the launch. Here you have the exact liftoff. That is T minus zero seconds. We 
have lift off, the heat shield separation, stage 3, stage 4 and that's where we call this the injection phase. The injection phase is where we are talking about the TLI, that's the translunar injection. Separation happens here. We have a kind of cruising in this phase. This is uh, going to last, this is a major section of the overall uh, launch phase. This is a major section in which we have a uh, little kind of like coasting along the path. This section is the descent phase, this point we are actually descending towards the moon. This is the, uh, uh, this is the descent part of the direct ascent uh, orbit that we are following. And uh, we have basically the solid uh, motors firing for the primary, uh, primary you know, slow down in the speed. After that we have a controlled descent, that's the vernier phase. Slowly and gradually that our craft touches down on the lunar surface and then we have our rover deployment. That's the surface operations phase and that's when we're talking about operating on the moon, when we're actually having the rover move about on the moon. So that's primarily where we're talking about the ro robotic operations. We're talking about remote controlled modes, we're talking about play modes, these are extended modes of our operations and uh, this is where uh, at the end of it the extended operations mode is where we end our operations. Thank you very much for that thank fast. You so thank you very much Team Indus. Yeah. Thank you. And, uh, now, cut. <laughs>